Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Tactical Magic Podcast. This is Molly Mandelberg, your host, and I'm excited to have a uh, business strategy tactics brainstorm mastermind question asking kind of podcast episode for you here today. Um, I've got a very special guest. Hang tight and I'll tell you who it is in just a second. It's not just about mastering technology. It's not just about brand or messaging. It's not just about making more money. It's about showing up in a big way so your people can find you. This is about bringing your most wild and authentic self into the hustle and grind. Welcome to Tactical Magic, a business strategies podcast for the warrior goddess entrepreneur. Awesome. So I have got James Lamb on the line, owner of Lamb Look Ahead Marketing. He helps heart-centered entrepreneurs discover their superpowers and then use those gifts to shape their businesses into change-making enterprises. That word enterprise has been on the top of my mind a lot lately. Welcome to the show, James. Thank you. It's great to be here, Molly. Yeah. So happy to have you here. So tell us a little bit about Look Ahead Marketing and what it's all about. Look Ahead Marketing is my latest creation, and it is a company specifically designed to work with five-figure heart-centered entrepreneurs. So we learn to, uh, we work with a lot of coaches, we work with a lot of healers, we work with a lot of course creators, and uh, a lot of what we do centers around the marketing piece. Now, we, we do a lot of marketing, but we also do a lot of courage piece too. I always tell my people, we not only do like learn and implement the marketing, but we also look at up-leveling the business owner as well. Yeah, I'm all about that as the reason why this show is called Tactical Magic is because I have such a belief that it's not just the strategies, but also that inner permission, that willingness, the capacity to receive that has to come along with us or else all the things we're creating aren't going to take flight because we're energetically yeah. blocking it in some way. So it's a huge component. Well, it's an interesting, it's an interesting conversation. So I had this conversation just today. Just today I had this conversation and someone was, we were talking about, you know, it well in the coaching space, there is there is done with you. There's something called done for you. And there's something called do it yourself, right? These are the three things that are there. And the thing that we do is we done, we do a done with you. So we have a 12 week signature program, like a lot of coaches. And, and what we do is we have a messaging and a marketing and a, and a pilot kind of done with you component. And the big thing about this is is not the answers at the end. There's a bunch of people that are like, just tell me what my answers are. We can't do that because you categorically don't up-level. The biggest biggest predictor of success in the program is those people who are willing to take a challenge. And so we design the exercise for done done, done with you because the done for you, you don't learn anything. The done with you, you change categorically as a person. Yeah, super important. That's awesome. So how did you find yourself teaching this stuff? What's been your journey of entrepreneurship yourself? Oh, it's a it's a <laughs> it's a long and winded conversation, as I say. So so what it is is um my first company, which is still in around, is Learn Photography Company. Now that has a look, we have 10 locations around the world. We do hands-on photography courses during the pandemic. We actually pivoted to online courses, found that they were significantly more profitable for us. And that's where we are. And, and, and we still have that. My my other half runs it. She does a great job. It continues to produce uh, really good, really amazing results. Before this, I was in the digital marketing space. So we had a boutique digital marketing uh, agency where we actually rescued over 100 small businesses on a shoestring budget. We showed them how to scale on a budget and find and acquire customers. This last one, this one that I'm doing right now, Look Ahead Marketing, takes all the stuff from the digital marketing, all the stuff from learned photography, and uh, really drips it down to really its essence. Essentially, and I'm not saying as much, but it's essentially all my failures in a row put into a course of what not to do and (laughs) a really direct course on how to succeed. Because entrepreneurship is tough. I'm going to tell you straight up, entrepreneurship is tough. That's the reason why we take time to find the messaging. That's the reason why we take time to do the marketing. What is important, what to do is is less important than what not to do. And so this is all about trying to focus the energy, the enthusiasm of all entrepreneurship. And I love working with coaches. I love working with healers because they have a bigger message than just themselves. It's about getting their message out there and supporting the people who need to hear it. Awesome. Has there been a point in your journey of that where you did have a failure, where you thought all was lost, or where you, you know, needed to get support to get a leg up? M- Molly, we, we have had more failures than I can count, right? <laughs> and it, it's kind of one of the things that I that I love because it makes me better at what I do. 
You know, when someone's there and they're kind of looking and they're like, a lot of you who are listening on the call will want to have some type of you know, group program you want to lay out. That is kind of like the, the, that is the golden chalice of, of coaching. And a bunch of you have tried stuff and it hasn't worked, right? And so we have to try and try and try again. And there's always a moment, there's a moment there in front where right before the conversion event, whether it's a five-day challenge, whether it's a webinar, whether it's a workshop, whatever it is, where you get nervous, what if no one buys? And we've been there too, so we're really good at it. Okay. So you asked earlier a little bit about the moment, like, like we had a turn back moment. What could we have done? So I remember there was a there was a moment when I signed up for, uh, we both know Jay Fassett. Jay Fassett's big, is called a, a flow. So flow teaches you the basics of joint ventures. The reason why I'm telling you this is because, you know, it had been eight months. I was kind of where a lot of you are at. I hadn't sold anything. Like I had an idea. I had taken different people's programs and I had this thing where I went to what's called JVology Summit. And it's a hundred and I was going to be like, I'm going to sell a $197 program because that's what I can sell. And I think I'm really good at it. And, 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 and Jay Fissett pulls and, and Jay Fissett pulls me up. He's like, we're not going to do this. It's, and you're not effing going to do this. You were too smart and too talented to do this. This is what you're going to sell and go make it work. And it was that moment that I realized I had a choice. I could lean in and find courage, which a lot of you will need to do, or I could go back to working a job. Yeah. And I'm guessing because of where you're at right now that you leaned in and found courage and listened to that. Oh my God. <laughs> Molly, I, I don't know if you remember your first, we call it our big conversion. So the, the truth, and I'm not, I'm not, saying this show off, like I'm showing the scale, right? So the, we just ran our three-day event. We sold $300,000. It was awesome. This is more money than, than we've seen. When we first did our little $2,000 product launch, we scored 17,000. That was more money than we had seen in like three years. And it was an amazing feeling. So both of them, both of them are, and, and the feeling when it happens is, is just so cool. It is. It is. It's so worth all the like pain and anguish that some of us entrepreneurs put ourselves through when we finally see something get traction and well, momentum. I, I, and actually I think work. I think everybody has to go through pain and anguish to find to find the other side. And anybody who hasn't is lying, <laughs> or is still in it and hasn't found that other side yet. Yeah, to which That's we exactly say, what it keep is. going. Don't give up in the middle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and, and you know, there's something really interesting in this, and I think this is where you, where you you tend to come in, like. There needs to be the things that are aligned. So one of the things is 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 mind, body, spirit, right? And that's that's going to be more your jam, right? Mind, body, spirit needs to be aligned to be able to believe in the person that needs to bring about change, not only in other people, but in yourself, right? Then you have to have the strategy in action, right? The strategy in action with the best version of you that finds courage, like that's unstoppable. Yeah. In many ways, some people call it B times do, right? Be the person you need to be, do the things you need to do, and you're going to have whatever you can have. And, and that's kind of where we approach it from. Yeah, absolutely. It's that sweet spot of both the alignment and also the action. I love that. So I also just want to highlight a part of that story, which is that you had a mentor come over to you and see you for what you were choosing, what you were creating, what you were showing up to offer the world and give you that moment of like, hey, we're going bigger than this now. And that's one of the most important things I've found in my own business and that I've heard from so many others is choosing to invest in the mentorship that will hold you accountable in that way, whether it's through a group program that you join, whether it's through a, a private coach or a anybody that you hire to be on your team, it's often not going to be the same up level that you get from your friend group, your mastermind group, probably like hopefully your partner is supportive of you, your significant other, but they're likely not going to push you to say, hey, this $200 thing should be a $2,000 thing. Like, let's go. Yeah. And so that's a really key component there that I've, I've had through the mentorship I've invested in. And I, I mean... I've bought programs that cost way more than the programs that I currently sell. Mm -hmm. And they were worth every dime simply because of that shift that was allowed to happen when somebody else was calling me forth that I wouldn't call myself forth in the same way. It's not to say it can't be done, but it is mm -hmm. that oftentimes we need somebody pushing us a little further outside of our comfort zone to make that shift. I agree. I think I also agree we can all get there. It's just some of us are going are to take 75 years. We don't have 75 years to get there. Yeah. You've got 10. You got to get there faster, right? 
And, and the mentorship is, is about a few things. One of them is, is surrounding yourself with the right people and the right strategies, because like I said, it's not just what to do, it's what not to do. Yeah. Another one is about, you know, finding focus and knowing what, you know, one of the, one, Napoleon Hill said it best, right? The, the people, the easiest way for people to fail is listen to their friends, family, and neighbors. Yeah. You listen to your friends, family, and neighbors, or they, they mean well, it's not because they're bad people. They also have limiting beliefs. And they also know your past, not your future. Mm -hmm. You're going to find that when you come into new circles, the people who are in new, new circles will, will cheer the loudest out of the people who should have been cheering the loudest for you. You figure you've been a friend for 20 years. You finally made it. They're the ones who are cheering the loudest. It's not. It's the new people who see the potential in what you could be, not what you have been. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Making friends who are on that same trajectory and being in communities, immersing yourself in the places where those people hang out, which is often in those group programs or masterminds or you know conferences like where we met, that those people believe in the you you're becoming and can sometimes see it before you even are aware of it yet, which is super powerful. Yes. yes. Yeah. There is real love in hanging out with the right people. And by the way, if you are slightly intimidated, you're probably on the right track. Yeah. Number one. Okay. And, and there is real value in someone saying, you know, I, I think you can do this. I think you can do this. These are going to be the keys and this is how we're going to do it. And, and that's the reason why people pay 15, 20, 25,000 for a mastermind. In my case, 50,000 for a mastermind, because that 50,000 has already made me 300,000 and it's only month two. Right. Talk about evidence. Yeah. Amazing. So you have this 12 week signature program, super powered business success. And I know people are going to need to join to get all of the magic of it, but I'm curious, can you pull back the curtain a little bit and give them some, uh, some of the highlights, some of the tools, some of the strategies, like, are we recommending people set up a webinar funnel or else? Like, is there one framework you're giving people or are they creating in all different ways? I, I have bad news, by the way. And the bad news sounds like this. <laughs> I don't have a hack or, or a secret. Yes, and, and this is the funny thing. Like, like in the course, I teach you the, the takeaway is, yes, you're going to have your message. Yes, you're going to have your marketing done with you. Yes, you're going to have launched a pilot. Some of us, have, some of the people there in that program have, have sold $20,000 worth of pilot programs. Like that, that is a powerful program. And there's no secret to this. Okay. The common theme in this is understand the fundamentals and build a business around you. So a number of us, all of us have gifts inside of us. A number of us are trying to monetize those gifts. Part of the reason why we don't monetize them is because we, we search too broad. And so what I mean by building a business around you, well, let's find the promise of the transformation that fits around your gift and, and keep it there, right? Marketing talk. People are like, I need to be on TikTok. I need to be on Twitter. I need to be on YouTube. I, like so-and-so says I need to be doing that. You don't need to do all that. The one truism, you probably need email. Okay. Email is something that you kind of need. Okay. You kind of need email, but everything else is on top of that. So do what you're good at, do what you love. Don't worry about the other stuff. Cause we can all make it doing these things. Yeah. And the beautiful thing is now, now you're starting to see how your message, your language, the promise and transformation of what you're doing, all the marketing is round about you. And if you nailed it, there's no secret formula. Yeah. There's no secret tip. There's no hacking the Facebook organic algorithm. Yes, you can do that. I can show you how to do that. Don't. You don't need to because you're beautifully you. And I will show you over the long term how to build this thing into something that is sustainable and isn't reliant on tricks, tips, or hacks. Right. And something that works for you is the main thing from that too. It's like two people could be running the exact same business and have very similar messaging, but they're like strengths are going to come through in different platforms, different yes. like mediums. And so not one size fits all is going to work for everybody. And that's one of the things that frustrates me about a lot of marketers out there is they say, you know, webinars are the only way to go. You have to have a webinar. That's the only way the thing will sell. And it's like, well, no, because look at all these people doing it different ways and mm -hmm. other ways that have nothing to do with webinars. And there's plenty of different launch options out there. For somebody who a webinar doesn't feel aligned for, who doesn't like feel called towards that direction. I don't, I, I know we're getting into this, but I, but and into the weeds, but I think this is valuable for your audience to hear. What does practice make Molly? And it doesn't perfect. make per. They say yeah. it makes perfect. It doesn't make yeah. perfect. There's no perfect. That makes improvement. Okay. It always makes improvement. There is a fallacy, a false fallacy around 
launches for energy healers, launches for, for like any coach, whether you're a coach or your healer around, it has to be perfect. There needs to be a one-time upsell. There needs to be a one-time bump. You need to, you need to send the follow-up email like exactly 203 and a half. If you don't sell it at 203 and a half, it's going to fit. Like there, there's all this pressure around making it perfect. Mm -hmm. Make it work, make it work. That's the better thing. And all you're doing is you're having a conversation with someone else saying, this is what I do. I'm going to show, I'm going to pull that. So in our, in, in my workshop, for example, I tell them what they need to succeed. Like, like I don't, I don't sugarcoat. It. I'm like, this is what you need to succeed. If you want step-by-step, -step how this is how we're going to, and, and yet, and, and, and everybody knows the price right up front. Like there's, there's no, there's no secrets. There's no timing drops at 37.25 minutes. Like just be yourself in those things. And people tend to respond to that a lot better. And that's about, again, building the business around you. A workshop should be really easy. A workshop should invite people. You should showcase, you should make an invitation, maybe a follow-up call and that's it and if they want it then buy that and if they don't want it then they don't buy it that's okay right we tend to overcomplicate this stuff like a lot of the coaching industry yeah definitely yeah and that the way you handle delivering that message and the way you handle delivering that offer which you said like they know the price up front before they get on there that transparency and that authenticity is something that i think the world is so craving after the marketing that has happened over the last couple decades that we've been blasted and we've been sold to and we are now looking for like realness and for humanity and for somebody to just show up and say hey this is what it is mm -hmm. you're in or you're out and that's on you you get to decide whether this is aligned for you or not i'm going to give you as much information as i can to help you make that choice but that swinging door of if you're a yes please come in if you're a no thank you have a wonderful day is so much more powerful than like convincing somebody they must have this they need this and trying to like push yourself out of alignment to like get that sale it's such a different energy and it's so much more compelling to run your business from that place of this is what I'm doing yeah. and the right people are going to come and find it. And I'm going to do everything I can to help those right people make that choice for themselves. Yes. A, a lot of times, Molly, and I know we're getting into sales, but this, I think this is valuable as well Is people underestimate how much others who like you are willing to pay to be in the same room as you. When we sell, we rely on features and bonuses and discounts and, and memberships and, and, and fast action boat. And yeah, yeah, it, it all worked. At the end of the day, sometimes the most powerful sales tactics I, I talk about mastermind is really simple. It sounds like this. Hey, Molly, I'd really like you in the program. I think you're a good fit. I think we can get you there. I think you need it. Would you like to join me? Can we open the door to have that discussion? That's it. That's as, like, it's, it's as simple as it gets, right? Because the reality is a number of you, and let's, let's say an energy healer, okay? I seem to be on this energy healer kick at the moment, okay? <laughs> a number of people are trusting you and want to work with you. And this is where self-sabotage comes in. Now, if you don't invite people to work with you, the result is, yes, you haven't sold something, but you've also selfishly stopped that potential client from healing themselves. Right. If if they were to pay you a thousand dollars to get up every day with a better outlook, with their energy in alignment, so they could do become the best person they could, so they could see gratitude, so they could seek abundance, and they can go towards that, is that worth a thousand dollars? Yes. Yes, absolutely. And absolutely. we've been so conditioned towards negative sales that must end. And I think it's the way we do it, to be honest. Let me be perfectly clear, but that, that's got to end. So when someone's in that place, what are the ways you sort of bring them more courage? How do you encourage more courage? <laughs> now, now you're asking for all my secrets. Yeah. Um, one, one of the things we do is we do what's called a founder's club or a pilot. Okay. And this is, this is gold. So if, if you are having trouble monetizing, I suggest you listen to this one. Okay. It's an invitation. There's no sales pages. There's no sales funnels. There's no, there's no buy now. There's no bonuses. It goes like this. Hey, Molly, I'm trying to create something. This is the idea I have. The idea I have is to uh, have like a marketing course for healers so they can actually stand in their strength and get it out to the world. Um, you know, I would like you to join me to try to craft this for decades, for like generations of healers going through, because I think it's a real game changer. Normally I would charge this because you're doing a beta. I'm going to charge this. Would you be interested in having a discussion? And that's it. That's all. Like it's simple, right? Yeah. Th that is one of the most powerful things in on God's green earth. It does two things. Number one, it starts bringing money to people. Okay. Never underestimate the power of flow. It starts bringing money to people. Number one. Number two, 
the people who, for example, we have, I have someone who declutters the home in 10 minutes a day and she sold 10 of them at six, at $700, right? So she has $7,000. She's learned to accept money. Not only that, but people are singing her praises. And because of that, she understands the value of the program, which gives her more confidence to go sell it again because it's so needed in society. Yes, you get testimonials. Yes, you get joint venture uh, affiliates. Yes, you get raving fans. More importantly, you categorically level up because now you know you are worthy of money, number one. Second of all, you know you are worthy. You can create change in the universe. Two massive big paradigm shifts. It's awesome. Yes. Paradigm shifting is super important and looking at what that block is, what that barrier is, where you've been. I mean, most of the time when we're running businesses like this, we are the biggest thing holding it back. Yes. So being willing to look at what that piece is, is that your belief in yourself? Is that your belief in your modality and your business? Is that your belief you hold about what people will think of you once you start marketing yourself or once you start putting it out there? Where is that limitation and what the hell can you do to get it out of your way? And while that sounds like a really bold message to send to someone or to call someone and say like, hey, I'm making this thing. I think it would be great for you. Do you want to have a conversation with about it? That seems like a really bold thing, I'm sure, to a lot of healers who don't do sales or don't feel comfortable. But at the same time, if you don't open that door to people, they can't walk through it. They don't know the door is there until you open that door. So there's a million different ways you can show them the door and open the door for them, but actually just asking them and from a place of no point of view, from a place of if it works for you, if this calls to you, if it feels good, come on in. And knowing that there's always going to be people that say no, there's always going to be people that get turned off. And that's not a reason good enough to stop you from sharing the magic that you're here to share on this planet. And the people who say no to you are not saying no to you. Molly, you know the answer to this already. Who are they right. saying no to? Themselves. Themselves. Saying no to themselves. Yeah. Right. Because each and every one of you has a gift. Each and every one of you can cause transformation. You know it. I know it. Molly knows it. And if they, most of the people who say no to my program or who say no to the mastermind, especially when I invite them, they are saying no to the opportunity because they don't think they can achieve it. So it's not you, it's them. Right. Absolutely. And I learned that way back before I had a business when I was canvassing. I actually was just writing a post about this. I used to canvas for environmental politics and you had to knock on doors and ask people for money for the environment. <laughs> and you had to learn really fast that people saying no was not people saying no to you or rejecting you or else you just couldn't do that job. Yeah. And the same is true. Even when you're selling quote unquote yourself as your business, people are never actually saying no to you. They're saying no to what's possible for them right then, right th there, right now. Yeah. It, it's a really interesting thing, right? This is something else that you have to, you have to take with you as well. <laughs> Those of you who are listening to the podcast, you don't see this, but I've laid back in my chair. My mic has gotten farther away over time, just kind of getting more comfortable. But this getting is the truth, serious. right? Is for every sweat, ounce of energy, time you spend with somebody who says no, trying to persuade them to say yes, you take away from all those potential people who could use you. And that's something you must understand, right? We, we spend so much time wondering about why did they so, say no? Maybe it's the packaging. Maybe it's the price. Maybe if I just talented a little, little bit more, maybe, maybe, if, maybe we should spend more time on all those people who need you. Totally. Yeah. Stop focusing on the thing that's not ready yet. Yeah. yeah. And I like that you focused also on, um, oh, my mind just went blank. Oh, that people will pay to be in a room with you. I was just thinking back to the big programs that I've bought and there was a huge factor that I just want to be in the room with these people. Yes. I know that there's something here for me. And if I just show up, I will get it by osmosis, if not through you know actual brainiac learning mm -hmm. of it. And that was a huge component for me making big investments in my business because I just knew that those people had a vibe, they had an awareness, they had an energy that I wanted to alchemize into myself by being in their presence. And it actually does work that way too. Yeah. And so yeah. people who, if you're willing to broadcast that vibe courageously, people will want to pay to be with you. And I've had plenty of testimonials from clients that just say, 
I love being in Molly's energy because I get so much more done. I feel like there's this steam engine thing that happens just because I'm with her. And it's like, I'll pay to show up for that vibe to get infused into my business. So don't discount that. Definitely. We, we tend to put, I know we're coming close here. I, we tend to put a lot of emphasis on the busy work as opposed to the productive work. Yeah. Okay? Make no mistakes. Being part of masterminds, sitting in silence, taking a shower, brainstorming, creating, having fun. That is going to have so much more impact on your business than sitting there and writing emails. I, I'm just going to categorically just say that out loud. Yeah, absolutely. The things that enhance your vibe totally matter. So yeah, we only have a couple minutes left. Just give us a little info. Where do we go to follow you? We're going to yes. give people a link to oh. Superpowered Business Success in the show absolutely. notes. Absolutely. You know, I'm going to do you one better. Okay. I'm going to do you a free workshop. Okay. Free awesome. workshop, 90 minutes and... <laughs> Everybody be offended. I'm going to make an offer in that workshop. Okay. Right now, we're, you up we're, right. I haven't even launched this thing. This is how new it is. Okay. And I'm working on the title. So if it changes, please don't, please don't get like all weirded out. It's called Reach 100K in Half the Time, Three and a Half Pro Marketing Tips Workshops for Online Coaches, Healers, and Course Creators. And yes, I did say three and a half tips. So it's 90 minutes. It's live with me. I'm going to cover, cover the three three top challenges that prevents healers, coaches, and online course creators from reaching 100K. You can call it self-sabotage. You can call it like shiny object syndrome, whatever you want to call it. These are three really big ones. And it's not some spoon feeding webinar. We're actually going to have exercises where you learn to level up. And if you stay to the end, I will absolutely deliver the mind-blowing half tip that you need to have. So 90 minute workshop, uh, go to the show notes. That's probably the easiest for this one yeah. uh, to register. It's free. You get to work directly with me. That is the, that is the promise. Okay. It's 90 minutes. And typically I'm going to tell you a secret here. Okay. I, I, I farm up my time at a thousand dollars an hour and I, and I do that regularly. These workshops, typically there's about 10 people in them and it's free. And there's about half the room who has the courage to turn on their camera. Turn on your camera so you can get all the wisdom so we can move your business monumentally. And if you see the optimism that I usually see in people and you want to do more, then take the offer. Yeah. So and even if okay. you're only one of the five with your camera on, you're getting one fifth of an hour. That's like, what, 15 minutes of coaching? That's like hundreds of dollars in that free workshop. <laughs> Yeah, it, 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 it is math. <laughs> if you if you just went and implemented the things that I talk about in the workshop because it's all personalized, it's all bespoke towards the people there, you would be winning three months from now. That's awesome. Okay, so we'll give you guys the link to that in the show notes. And where can people follow you? Are you on social media? I know you also have a show. Uh <laughs> yeah, yes, it's it's a little bit all over the place. And I was telling Molly, we're hiring a business manager to, to clean up, to clean the act up, so to speak. The easiest way, honestly, is 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 doing email and watch out for the first few emails because there's something called Everyday Superhero Entrepreneurs. It's my inter internal group. It's all about celebrating the effort and successes and trials of everyday superhero entrepreneurs, those ones who have families, who have lots of priorities, who still prioritize the dream because it is possible. Awesome. The last question that I always like to ask on this show, um, which is funny sometimes because you've already dropped so much wisdom on this episode, but are there any last words of wisdom you'd want to leave people with? <laughs> you've siphoned all the wisdom out. <laughs> <laughs> You're out. That's it. No, I, I'm just I'm just joking. <laughs> um, I think the wisdom is is get comfortable being uncomfortable. And yes, I know everybody says it. And if you are uncomfortable, you are in the right place. Okay, my friends. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, James, for sharing your magic. I hope people go and check out that free workshop. It sounds really fun. And thank you everyone out there for listening. Um, don't forget to come back next week for another episode. Definitely go check out that workshop from James and look at the Superpowered Business Success. It sounds amazing. And whatever happens, keep asking big questions and taking bold action because you're here for a reason. Bye. 